1. He says, On the eighth of the month, Xanthicus, before the feast of unleavened bread, at the ninth hour of the night, there shone round about the altar and the circumjacent uh, buildings of the temple a light equal to the brightness of day, which continued for the space of half an hour. Two. About the sixth hour of the night, says Josephus, the eastern gate of the temple was found to open without human assistance. This gate was of solid brass and so long and heavy as to require 20 men to close it. And Josephus says it was secured by iron bolts and bars and were let down into a large threshold consisting of one entire stone. The Jews themselves concluded from the miraculous nature of this event that the security of the temple had fled, which the procurator, uh, when the procurator was informed of it, he went, he sent a band of men to close the door, who with great difficulty executed their orders. Three. Again, the same celebrated Jewish, again, the same celebrated Jewish author says at a subsequent feast of Pentecost, while the priests were going by night into the inner temple to perform their customary ministrations, they first felt, as they said, a shaking accompanied by indistinct murmuring and afterwards voices as of a multitude saying in a distinct and earnest manner, let us depart hence. That's scary. Uh, 